Greetings, this is the voice of Dylan Flynn. Salutations, mortals, this is the voice of Trevor Ickrath. And you are listening to Blood Curdle with Fiends, the show where two fiends curdle your blood. We are almost through our spookiest season ever, but there are still a few days left for some scares to occur, and still a few days for me to tie it back up maybe even take the month we'll we'll have to see i lead you by two you gotta you gotta start getting karate mode on my ass now i really gotta go sicko mode i gotta unleash the beast i gotta do whatever i can to take this lead back maybe you can meditate on taking it to the next level while i introduce the date and the number of this puzzle right now okay i'm beginning to do that now today is thursday october 27th 2022 and Trevor and I are about to attempt to solve Wordle number 495, so this is your warning to turn back now if you have not yet done today's puzzle, as there will be spoilers ahead. Have have, have I lost you there, buddy? You still there? What? Sorry, I I was just kind of spacing out while you were saying all that stuff like I usually do. Was I supposed to be doing something during that period? I feel like there was something I was supposed to be doing. No, you're fine, you're fine. I'm starting today anyway, so if you want to just enjoy being on that little mental cloud for a little longer, go for it. Awesome. I'm always up here. Here's the the wizard's hat. You hear that rattle? Yeah. Only only four words left. Wait, why, why are the words rattling? Like geometric plastic shapes representing what the words mean, and then the word is written on them. Yeah. So what's the rattling? I don't know. I, I'm not sure why you're asking. I, maybe you're just kind of being a fish out of water and and asking questions on behalf of the audience so that they can be let in. Because obviously you know how it works. You've been doing it with me all month. That's true. Uh, if this is the least scary word left in this hat, then holy shit, what are you guys in for for these next few days? There's one that there's one I'm trying to save for last, uh, and I'm wondering if you're trying to do the same thing, but we'll have to see. But for right now, we're going to see that I just got five gray letters. I played the word fiend. Okay, see, that was the one I was saving for last. How interesting that happened like that. I'm, I'm saving one for you for last because I feel like it's a word that kind of belongs to you. Oh, interesting. Okay, um, maybe that'll work out since the other thing didn't. What did you get for fiend? Five grays. Five grays. All right. No fiends in the building. Uh, all right, what would be a good word to play? Because he used quite a few of the vowels I like in that one. Oh, really? Two of your faves? Two of the ones I use the most, at least. I don't know if I call them my faves, but... I've always seen you as more of an O guy. I'll do this, then. Okay. Wow. I got two yellow letters and one green letter... My, my. ...for playing the word cramp. Cramp? Yeah. Two yellows and a green. Mm-hmm. i tell you what, kind of feel like... The C was green, and the R and the A were yellow. What makes you think that? I just had a weird flash in my head. Okay. It could be the tumor. Acting up again. Oh, shit. This would be fucking cool. Yeah? You found a cool word to play? Fuck yeah, I did. I found a fucking sick-ass word to play, dude. All right. Let's hear it. I'm keeping the C where you played it. I'm moving the R and the A. Okay. God damn, check this out. I was completely right. I was 100% right in my assumption that the C was green and the R and the A were yellow. That's true. Were you right about what the other two letters were? No, I got uh, one yellow letter and two green letters. I placed one of them. Okay, what'd you play? But I played the word Cobra. Ooh, that'd be a sick solve. Yeah, dude. Makes people want to get a fucking biker tattoo. All right, so two greens, one yellow. Well, this is a kind of a weirdly constructed one. I guess it could be that. I think I found it. I'm not going to keep looking. I'm done looking. All right, all right. Um, and if you got the C and the A, that means the R could either go in the third or fourth, right? If I got the A, it couldn't go in the fourth because it would have been green when I played it in the fourth when I played Cobra. Oh, that's right. Okay. I need to be more on top of my game considering the stakes. Right. If you got the A, then the R can only be in the third spot. That's right. Yes. And if I got the R, then the A could only be in the... In the second spot. That's right. Okay. Thanks for the help. No worries. I just guided you through it. You did, you did all the work. It's like if Columbo had, like, a little buddy who was, like, <laughs> way less attractive than he was. <laughs> um, let's see. Is that going to work? Will this work? I think that would work. Okay. 
He thinks it would work. Bob Greens. Ah, man. That was a hard fought one, and you did pull it off. Trevor, victory round two. Uh huh. There you go. Okay. I'm assuming it must be this. I stopped looking as soon as I found it, so maybe I missed something obvious. You, you found it pretty quick. Five green letters. I didn't carry today's episode, but hey, I did get the word, which was carry. So you can rely on the good old internet to carry an email from your <laughs> outbox and in our inbox. You could send those emails to wordlefriends at gmail.com. You could find the show on TikTok or Twitter by searching wordlefriends. And you could find the full length program on YouTube or the podcasting platform of your choice by searching wordle with friends. My favorite thing about how eager you are to get to that outro every day on the show is that when I'm cutting the TikTok, invariably it means I always give myself the last word on our TikToks. And I like to imagine that whoever's listening is like, boy, he just loves to fucking have the button every day, doesn't he? He's got to close it out. He always loves to end the TikTok with yeah. himself. It's a lot of power, but it's also a lot of responsibility. It is, just like Batman. <laughs> sure, just like Batman's old creed. <laughs> but for now and for always, I've been Dylan Flynn. I've been Trevor Ickrath, and we'll see you back here tomorrow on the show where friend is five-letter word. This has been a production of The Lighthouse Keepers Company. Culture Illuminated.